Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to find the length or the size of an array in C and C++. So if you're interested, let's get started and see how we do that. Okay, before we jump into the code, I just want to make sure you have Visual Studio 2015 uh, installed on your machine so make sure you go to this link here download the community free edition of Visual Studio so that we can get started okay so I have Visual Studio up and running I'm gonna create a new project here by clicking file new project and from the new project window I'm gonna select Visual C++ Win32 console application I'm gonna call my project ArrayLen click OK on this page I'm gonna click next and here I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm going to click finish. All right, so let's get started here. So typically when we declare an array, we say like, for example, integer a of 10 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Arrays in C are zero based. We know here that we have declared an array of 10 elements. But when we want to like print out every element, we do something like this for i equals zero. I have to hard code the size of the array so I can print each element. Let's just do it this way now. Let's see this in action first before we talk about how we can get rid of this hard coded tin in here. So Control F5 on the keyboard to compile and run. Okay, so now as you can see, I have all my 10 elements displayed on the screen. Okay. One of the challenges we have with this is like I said, this is a hard coded value. What if I decided to make now my elements to be 12 I want to add two more I have to go back and change this again right every time well what if there is a better way to do that let's see how we can actually get the help from the compiler to give us the size of this array we know there's an operator in C called size of let's do this integer s1 equals size of a and I'm gonna do integer s2 equals size of a of 0 also I want to do s3 equals size of integer just to compare the three together so now let's say s1 s2 s3 so now I'm just gonna print out all three Control F5 to run so as you can see a has a size of 48 bytes and size of by the way gives you the size in bytes size of a of 0 is 4 bytes which is the same size as an integer 4 byte in my case so this is 48 this is 4 bytes and this is 4 bytes Let's first get this out of the way. We can either find the size of an element by doing this or by doing this. If we want to change the element in the future from integer to flow to character, it's better to use this technique because you don't have to be tied to the type. So now we know the size of the array, size of each element. If we divide the size of the array by the size of each element, that should give us the number of elements. As a result of that, the length of the array is equal to S1 divided by S2. The most common way of doing this is by saying size of array divided by size of array element of zero. That's how we calculate the length or the size. Now we can come here and say length. We get rid of this, we get rid of that. If I try to run this, control F5 to run it. You can see now it's showing me all 12 elements, cool. Not even that, you can now actually get rid of this. You don't need this. If we have an array like this without initialization, you will get an error. You have to specify the size if you're not initializing it. However, if you are going to initialize it, you don't need to specify the size. You can just do it this way. The compiler will actually allocate enough memory to fit all the elements in here. Let's verify it's the same amount of memory. Ctrl F5 to run. As you can see, we have 12 elements. Cool. So by using this technique, I can simply come here and just don't worry about this. I can get rid of this. Now I have 10 elements. I didn't change anything here. The size of is always going to be there for me. Now it's giving me 10. As a matter of fact, you can turn this into a macro and you can say hash define array len to be of any array to be such that size of a divided by size of a of zero. It doesn't have to be a, right? You can, can make it just to avoid confusion. This is a macro and always macros should be surrounded by enough parentheses to avoid errors with and bit falls with macros so now we can even get rid of this and I can just come here and say array len of a all right let's run this all right so as you can see we still have the same behavior and this array len macro can work with anything 
there's actually if you're on windows if you include windows.h there's already a macro which is called array size you can use that instead of our own macro here Control f5 to test it as you can see it's doing the same thing so either use that by including windows.h or define your own and that's how you get the size of any array thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share with your friends